Hey there guys, today I'll be making a new tutorial on Counter-Strike 1.6 for Mac. So, what I'm doing today is I'm gonna be showing people who have Yosemite how to work and how to deal with the issues and bugs that you get on it. So, first thing you need to see is this this will be the version you'll be opening, which I'll leave the link in the download from the previous video I've made. This is the Yosemite compatible version, so if you have the version below uh, Yosemite, you'll be opening this here. You'll be opening this game because it's the normal one. It's the first game that I made compatible with Mac OS X. And this one is the second one, which is Yosemite compatible. But, as you see here, I'm not running Yosemite. I'm running, actually, I'm running Lion, and it works for me perfectly because I have some developer options on my computer. So, simply what you need to do is, first problem some people have is, when they open the game, sometimes it pops, sometimes you get a black screen, you get this cross on the screen, so you just need to wait, and some people get stuck on a white screen, and that white screen is really annoying, and today I'll be, ch I'll be helping you to fix it. So this, I have no problems opening it up, but other people have. As you can see, never change your render if you change the software or 3D3, I'm sorry, D3D, your game will no longer open. And that is a pain in the ass. But uh, I'm gonna teach you how to solve that problem if you, if you actually change it accidentally. So, this is the first part. If you're getting stuck on a white screen or a black screen, or even if you click it and it just pops in doesn't open. The first step you need to do to fix is just right click on, on your game here, show package contents. You, you will see this wine skin application here, just double click it and go to the second options, set screen options. Remember, this is if you're getting the non opening popping up here and not opening um, bug, and if you're getting the white screen or the black screen. Just tick this option here, use Mac Drive instead of X11, and press done, quit. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just press the game once, and you'll see it popped up but it didn't open. So you need to be patient, because it's going to open up externally, and the game is working perfectly. You can actually minimize the game, but it, it's not open here, so you can take this off. It opens separately, and you can open the game up again. Remember never to force quit command Q on the game because it can damage the game files and you won't be able to open it again. So going back to that video problem here in the render, if I actually change it to software, I'm gonna get this problem here. As you can see, hold on a sec, I'm just gonna change to Counter-Strike. Most people get the problem that they think this is Half-Life, but actually it's not. It's Counter-Strike. Just press chest get change game. Counter-Strike and change it. And you'll be getting your game opened. So as I said, if you're getting problems using software, OpenGL or D3D, as for me, all of them work. But on some computers, depends on your graphic cards, it, it won't work. Just remember. Just quit the game anyway. Make sure. Um, there's an easier way to do this if you don't want to do it manually. You can press go, make sure you're on finder, press go, go to folder, and and type this in. So the slash means you're in your home folder, then the library, because in Yosemite you can't find library folder there, it's hidden. And then preferences, not preference panels, preferences. And you'll be scrolling down a huge ways until you find Counter-Strike folder, which is here. And you're going to delete that folder if you get any problem um, with the video render or something. If you get those problems, or if you used the other version of Counter Strike 1.6 previously on other versions, and then you upgraded to Yosemite, um, and it doesn't work, you need to delete this folder right here. So just send it to trash or do whatever, and then make sure and then when you open your game it's going to be a fresh copy of the game so you won't be having any problems again so for people who are still having problems 
just leave it below comment leave a comment below with your problem and I'll see if I can help you because I've been helping some people on Skype so I'm gonna leave my Skype around here and you can just add me if you want but make sure to leave a reason why you're adding me because I don't know who you are and just say you need help for Counter-Strike 1.6 and I'll accept you and I'll help you so I hope you liked it guys make sure to leave, to subscribe and leave a like and a comment if you want and have a nice day